Science has learned quite a bit about treatment during the past few years. One of the big changes has been the notion that treatment needs to be applied to addictive disorders as if they are a chronic disease. That's what we've learned. The problem traditionally has been that people viewed treatment for alcohol or drug dependence as a time-limited event, something that would occur for maybe a month. There was a time in the U.S. where there were many of the so-called 28-day programs. So you would send individuals off, they would go stay in this place for 28 days where they would receive intensive treatment and supposedly they were going to get it, whatever it is, and when they would come out of treatment they would then live forever free from alcohol and drugs. But when this was studied what you found is that well when people entered treatment their alcohol and drug use essentially went down to zero and after they left treatment slowly over the months following, the alcohol and drug use resumed and would eventually get back to the levels it had been before treatment. So critics tended to look at that and they said, well, treatment doesn't work. Well, I'm a doctor, so we could do a study of diabetes. So suppose you had diabetes and I gave you insulin for 28 days. And at the end of the 28 days, I stopped your insulin. What do you think would happen to your blood sugar? slowly, surely, it would rise up to the levels that it was at before treatment. So in the addiction field, we've changed the way that we think about treatment. Some individuals may require an intensive amount of treatment during the early stages of recovery from addiction, like a 28-day program, but treatment needs to continue over the long term. The same way that someone with diabetes has to learn for the rest of their life to change their diet, to change their activity level, and to take their medication regularly, people who have an addictive disorder need to learn to make changes in their lifestyle for the rest of their lives. There may be periods where they need a very high level of intensity of treatment, where they might need to stay at a treatment center. Other times, they might be able to be at home and to attend a support meeting once a week or even every other week. But depending on how much distress they're feeling or how active their underlying disease is, we have to make changes to their treatment over time. So our approach in treatment of adolescents is to gear the intensive ER treatment to how distressing the symptoms are at any time, but to consider this a chronic illness that we're going to follow for months and years. So relapse means that somebody who hasn't used drugs in a long time starts using drugs again. And unfortunately, usually when somebody relapses, they quickly fall into all the same problems that they had before when they were more actively addicted. An important part of addiction treatment is something that we call relapse prevention. So even after somebody has stopped using a drug that they're addicted to, we spend a lot of time thinking about the times when they might be at risk. So for example, somebody who's been addicted to alcohol might find themselves at risk if they go to a party where other people are drinking alcohol. And we think about it and we plan for it and we talk about it so that should uh, a patient who's been addicted find themselves in that situation, they'll, no they'll already have a plan of what to do worked out beforehand. Well, people shouldn't view treatment for addiction as unsuccessful just because relapse occurs. Relapses happen in lots of different diseases. So, for example, people with diabetes, which is another chronic disorder, need chronic medical treatment that really will go on for the rest of their lives. And there will be times where they may have high blood sugar problems even though they've been in treatment. That might be seen as a relapse, but it doesn't mean that all the treatment they've had before has been ineffective. It just means that at that moment in time, they need a little bit more treatment or a little bit more intensive treatment.